Hi guys. You know, recently I've been working a lot on repairing uh, inverters. And once you do these kind of jobs, you will actually soon find out that you have quite a limitation on what you are doing. And what I mean with that is that, you know, usually when you work on electronics, you will uh, take a lot of measurements using a multimeter like this one here. But there are certain limitations, especially when you're working on power electronics. There are several components, parts on such boards, which you cannot really measure with a multimeter. Now I have a new toy, a new tool, and this is this one. A very simple box with a just simple display on it. The display is counting from 1 to 2000, and what this display is telling is milliohms. Milliohms in the resolution of one milliohm. So something I could not do until now. You know, when we look at such inverter boards, you will find inductors like this, and then you will find many low value resistors. Uh, these resistors are mostly used as shunt resistors for current measurement. And if you look at those values which uh, they should have, these ones here on this board, for example, say 5 milliohms, another one here on this board, 4 milliohms. Here in front of me I have some laying around, so one here is 1500 milliohms, so 1.5 ohms, that's quite a high value. And this one here, for example, 100 milliohms. So if you would like to measure something with a, a multimeter, you will have several problems. One of them will be that the resolution of such a multimeter is far too grainy, right? So this multimeter can only go down to 100 milliohms in resolution. But that is actually not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the measurement method. Uh, when you take a measurement with the multimeter, then you have to uh, understand that the measurement is actually, when you measure resistance, right, is not taken at the probes at your part. The measurement is taken here at the input of your multimeter. So which means that when you now measure the resistance or impedance of a part, you will actually also add up the impedance, the resistance of the probes. And this can in some cases, like here on shunt resistors, when the resistor only has like 5 milliohms, uh, the, these probes will actually add up more resistance impedance than the part itself. So that's why there is another method of resistance measurement and this is called a four wire method and this meter is a four wire meter which means as you can see here instead of two probes we still have two probes but we have four wires going to those two probes and two wires are actually used to inject voltage directly at the tip of the probe and the other two wires are used to return then the uh, measurement result. This kind of meter is eliminating the error of the probes and thus it is giving us a very exact uh, measurement of the part of the component itself. We are going to look now at such a meter here. This is a no-name device, it is a Chinese uh, device you can maybe even get it only uh, directly from China. It's very specialized. Uh, usually you would have to use far more expensive equipment for measurements like this, like a bench a meter or something like this, which is in the hundreds of dollars. But this device was only $20. Dollars. 
Here, let's take a closer look here. I have two such shunt, shunt resistors laying here. SMD components, so the first one is 1.5 ohms, 1,500 milliohms. Multimeter should give us a good reading here. Yeah, and it's saying 1.5 ohms, which is correct. But the next one here is a 100 milliohm resistor. So this would be the resolution of this meter, of course. Let's see what it is telling in this case. And here you, you can see already we just have a reading of zero ohms. Right, so this, the meter cannot uh, tell us any value of this component. If we now take our specialized milliohm meter, so the first one here, 1500 milliohms, is already at the end of the range of this meter, and you can see perfectly reading 1501 milliohm. The next one, 100 milliohm resistor and it says 99. So you can see already uh, these kind of measurements are very accurate. Let's check here on our inverter board. I have here two 4 milliohm uh, shunt resistors in parallel. Two resistors in parallel means of course uh, we should expect a reading of 2 milliohms only. Let's check it. And you see 2 milliohms. So perfect reading on this one. Here we have one shunt resist, also 4 milliohms. Uh, nothing in parallel there, so it should be 4 milliohms. Let's read this one. And you can see 4 milliohms. Perfect. Yeah, but of course we can also uh, read something different than resistors and let's uh, look at a coil like this one here. And what kind of value do we have here? 158 milliohms. Right, so you would not have a chance to measure, you get an accurate reading with a standard multimeter. Showing you this product because this is somehow affiliated or sponsored by anybody. I'm showing you this because I was searching for a device like this. You might have also asked yourself a question already, how could you do this without spending top dollars on a really expensive lab equipment. So this small a device cannot do anything else than give you a resistance impedance reading between 1 and 2000 milli ohms and that's it. But it is very accurate as you could see. It comes with a USB-C uh, connector so this is actually chargeable, rechargeable. You don't have to replace any battery in this, just charge it up, turn it on or off and that's already it. It has a hold button here, so if you make a reading, press the hold button, you can store the value and release your probes. It's a perfect small helper. So yeah, how it's going to continue here on my uh, repair projects? Well, this here is the next Sun 2000, which will get a repair attempt. Unfortunately, Chinese New Year uh, has delayed everything massively. I have to wait for some parts like for weeks already and yeah but once they should arrive pretty soon uh, once I have all the components we're going to try to fix this really badly damaged uh, Sun 2000. But let's see how this will uh, turn out. Anyways so this was only a short update video, how it's uh, continuing here on the channel. 
and so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe i will uh, leave a link for this product in the video description but as i said there is no affiliation or anything on this if you need a meter like that this is a really good option so thank you very much i see you next time